Uh, you see the uh, beautiful drawing of uh, a woman on the 1st of May. It's a Bolshevik poster, 1920. What's remarkable, it says, long live the festival of workers of all countries. May Day was uh, started by uh, mostly anarchists, well, and socialists in Chicago for the eight-hour day. When they got the eight-hour day, they celebrated May Day. May Day has been a universal holiday in England and uh, the coming of spring again. What's remarkable about the Bolshevik poster it's the only one poster I ever remember that didn't have ugly capitalists on it, putting them down. Or brave Bolshevik soldiers killing people or getting ready to kill people. Well, who's responsible for that is a long story, but uh, I think the communists made a number of mistakes too besides the capitalists, but that's for another program. So uh, this is uh, to the tune of Moscow Nights. When I was a young man a long time ago, through blue Moscow nights deep in snow, we would walk, no, we would talk and scheme, and then we'd walk and dream our utopian art so all aglow. Youthful dreams turn nightmare, but yet, but yet. For a love of freedom's beauty, we will ne'er forget. Under stars of evil and dreadful hate, our wondrous children still now defy their fate. Through the years of hope and fears we have all seen Many comrades disappear, how sad we have been Different stars shall come, but different stars will go And darling, I still love you so When I was a young man a long time ago Through blue Moscow nights in deep snow We would talk and scheme And then we'd walk and dream Our utopian hearts oh so aglow Youthful dreams turn nightmares, but yet, but yet. All our love of beauty's freedom we shall ne'er forget. Neath satellites of evil and dreadful hate, our wondrous children now still defy their fate. Through the years of hope and fears we all have seen Old comrades disappear, how sad we have been Different stars will come, but different stars shall go And my darling, I still love you Okay, how much time have we got left? Two minutes. Two minutes. All right. Um, when I first heard Moscow Nights, I thought it was a beautiful melody. I thought it was an old folk melody, but I think it was written in the 20s in Russia. And uh, the lyrics are about a, a dis disappointed love, love affair. And I, I met a, I met a Russian immigrant and I told him I was sad because it wasn't a uh, 
I'm sorry, it wasn't a political song. And he said, au contraire, he said. Personal love was very much against what Stalinism was about. In Stalinism, you sacrificed your life for a, uh, an abstraction. The state, the community, and mostly Stalin, I think. Stalin's wife, first wife was first wife was Jewish and she killed herself. That's how much uh, how wonderful things were in Stalinist Russia. But uh, Stalinist Russia isn't the only place that was uh, terrible. And it's uh, not so wonderful now and neither is the United States. So what are you going to do about it? Don't just sit there.